right, what's going on, guys? It's Jeff. Time for another sit down and talk. So I would have actually uploaded Blackout, or maybe even just talked about this whole thing while I'm playing Blackout. Maybe even though there's like less than 20 minutes left of the beta, and I'm pretty sad, honestly. There's no extension, I think, at least so far that's been announced. Every day I'll end up getting comments from people and be asking the same question that was asked like multiple weeks ago, or something that was already answered, and then I have to end up like re-explaining myself or things like that. And this one, it's kind of been something that's repeated, but at the same time, the answer is kind of different at this point. So usually my answer, whenever people are asking the age old question, where's Requeese? Right now, I'm just trying to, I, I don't know, figure out what I should do. So, so originally Requeese is supposed to be this, you know, hulking character that just absolutely destroys everything in his path and every single opponent in front of him ends up crumbling. And here's the thing. Now in UFC 3, that's pretty much what's happening the entire time. Obviously, it's pretty exaggerated. It's just over the top. It's just ridiculous. It's just fun. You know what I mean? I don't genuinely believe I'm like the greatest ever. It's just this thing to, you know, hype him up and all that shit, just screaming at the mic and just doing really dumb stuff. So it was much easier for me to make these videos when I was playing UFC 2. Now there is a difference between my UFC 2 and UFC 3 videos. The UFC 2 videos, a lot of them, besides the first few anyway, uh, ended up being online fights. The online on UFC 2 was not that atrocious. And I'm not even going to say that UFC 3's online mode is like bad in any way, shape or form. I could actually assume that it would be an improvement unless you're in other certain series that I play and it takes a few years for them to actually get it right. You know what series I'm talking about. There's just, to me, a difference between UFC 2 Requeese and UFC 3 Requeese. And I don't ever want to sit there and like recognize this whole thing because then people just don't want to see UFC 3. But the thing is, is that I don't really want to go back to UFC 2 just for the sake of this, but the ragdoll and the knockouts and just like the overall style of game, UFC 2 versus UFC 3, UFC 2 is just, to me, much more over the top and just entertaining to watch. Like when Requeese was KO, people in UFC 2. Now, I'm not saying in UFC 3, Requeese hasn't punched somebody across the Milky Way. It's just UFC 2, you can compare the knockouts. They just are a lot more funny and over the top and just kind of ridiculous, but they're brutal at the same time because of how ridiculous they are. In UFC 2, there will be times where I'm able to land, no exaggeration, like an eight piece plus combo on people as they're getting KO. Requeese can land an overhand right. The person will be rocked. He lands an uppercut, does like nine uppercuts in a row, and every single one of those ends up hitting the already KO'd victim as they're falling down. In UFC 3, you can't really, the brutality is kind of gone. You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't really fit as much. It feels like this Care Bear version of UFC 2 whenever you're KOing people. Now, here's the thing. UFC 3, uh, when the demo was coming out, a lot of people were already explaining about how the knockout animation seems too stiff. It's just the same thing over and over again. Why is it that UFC 2 doesn't have knockout animations? They just kind of go limp and fall. That's what I like. Why would you add this boring animation where the character just kind of crumples up on himself and just falls. Whereas in UFC 2, you'll be punching them into Olympic gold medal gymnastics. And most people recognize this, but that's kind of why I've been staying away from UFC 3 because it's just, I know a lot of people want me to fight online, but it's just going to add this whole extra layer of stress where I'm fighting an actual person, right? And obviously there are people that are better than me, even if I'm using Requeez, no matter how much I talk. Still going to talk trash, you know what I mean? Because it's just, that's the nature of that video. But it's mainly any of the trash talking is just to hype up Requeez himself. Himself. And to hype all that up just to get the, like these weird, mediocre, stiff knockouts, not because it's my fault or anything like that, but because the game just doesn't allow for it, just makes it a lot less fun, you know? That's kind of where my head has been at with that whole thing. I just wanted to explain where, you know, Requeese has been. And not that I don't like making those videos or anything like that. It's just, I would definitely prefer to play UFC 2, but it's just, it's an older game. So it's just kind of like at this crossroads where it's like, okay, pick the newer game, but it's not as fun or pick the old game and it's an old game. Now, I know probably a bunch of people are just going to tell me, dude, just play UFC 2. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I've just been kind of at this crossroads for a while now. So I don't know, but I'll let you guys know for sure. And also, I wanted to touch on the whole streaming thing. So I started streaming on the, I think it was the first or second weekend, maybe both of the weekends. I played some Black Ops 4 multiplayer and stuff. And obviously with this beta ending, I'm not going to be able to stream Call of Duty or at least the Call of Duty that most people want to see. You know what I mean? So at this point, like I'm just so stumped on what to stream if I did stream at all. Yeah, I know like you could just say random games i did put that poll up but it's just like it's kind of difficult to especially if i want to you know stream 
often. It's difficult when, you know, you're uploading random games and stuff, because eventually you run out. You hear all sorts of variety YouTubers and streamers always talk about how, you know, they're just sitting around waiting for a new game, because that's basically what the content is, is just waiting for new things to come out that you can just play. Obviously, I've just been uploading a ton of variety stuff, even though the, you know, boxes have been all weird and stuff like that, just straight up overnight, September 13th. I don't know what happened. It's not just me either, like, it's multiple channels. Usually, I would blame myself for these kinds of things, but just, it happens overnight, so I just feel like, okay, there's no way that it's bad it just doesn't make sense i want to be one of those youtubers that seriously sit around and talk about views all day because it's not like that it's just really frustrating to me knowing that i'm not reaching the people that i would usually be reaching you know what i mean i always just feel like i kind of have almost a duty every single day to upload this video and i feel obligated to do it i know that might not be a healthy mindset but i enjoy doing this don't get me wrong it's just i feel like i let people down all the time even though i did upload the video and it went up there but i just feel like i let people down when it just doesn't reach everybody it's so it I'm so emotional. I just want to explain what's going on in my mind and everything like that I just need to do these sit down and talk things so I'll figure out what I'm gonna do um, As far as streaming as far as all that other stuff it definitely the idea of streaming becomes much more attractive by the time Black Ops 4 actually comes out because the one whole day we could play multiplayer the next whole day Play all blackout or have a whole day playing blackout with other streamers squads or whatever. We'll see. I don't know Anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video if you've seen it like if you guys enjoyed it, it's truly truly appreciated and uh, yeah it's been Jeb, guys. Later.